you've got vulgarity, meaning very sparkly clothes, very dramatic, very short skirts, um, boots right up to the thighs, all that kind of thing. But then you've got another side to this too. You've got the long sleeves, a totally different feeling of really being quite modest. And I think this does reflect what's going on in the world. And it also reflects the fact that women today want to choose their clothes, not to have them thrust upon them. It's so fascinating the way that fashion doesn't follow what goes on in the world, it kind of does it first. So you've got all this, well I'd call it vulgarity, and this whole Kim Kardashian thing, and then you've got Donald Trump. It's as though somehow fashion was there first. Well, Tom Ford is the most interesting one, isn't he? Because you really feel now he's got two careers going on and which one is he going to choose? But I think the moving image, um, perhaps the fashion world's been a little slow to embrace it, but I think that social media really forced them to go to the idea of the moving image of films, of things that will attract people on their phones. I The whole subject of gender is very intriguing. It's a big subject for the world and also for fashion because you're getting the clothes coming nearer together in every sense. You're getting clothes, especially in the Far East, for men that could be women's and vice versa. And more to the point, you're getting Burberry and other people to put the two together. So you're now getting shows in which both genders have clothes for themselves. The idea of gender neutral clothes is quite interesting, I think, because, you know, a lot of women don't want to make some huge statement and probably men don't either. But particularly for women, you don't have to wear clothes that are in any way girly or womanly, although you can if you want to. But you really have the option now of wearing these gender neutral clothes, could be for the man or the woman. Hello, how are you? Hey, welcome to London, sir. How are Thank you? Thank you so much. I love London. 